Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on the skin. I'm going to use Copic markers and Prismacolor pencils for this one. I've printed it on an Expressit blending card and I'm using an image from Molly Harrison's digital colouring book, Mystical. Okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, I'm just going to do the skin for this part of it, um, just to for the purpose of showing you how to get... Um, nice highlights and depth and things like that into the skin so I'm starting off with E triple zero here and I'm just going to cover the whole face with um, this marker and it doesn't have to be neat or blended too much because we're going to go over this anyway I'm just being careful here not to go over the lines of the image too much because um, I just printed it with my printer. The ink is still slightly wet, so I didn't want to smudge the ink into it too much. So I've just gone lightly over that as I go on that dry, so I don't need to worry about it as much. Um, I'm just going to do her neck, uh, sorry, her face down to her neck and her shoulder. I won't do the whole back and everything uh, for the video. I'll just do the face really for this one. I'm just going to do my darkest shade now. I'm using uh, EO4. It is quite dark, but it will be for all of the shadow areas on the face. I'm going to do it um, under the hair, under the eyebrows, around the eyes, on the cheeks, um, a little bit of the nose, um, under the chin, on the chin, sorry, and under the cheek and onto the neck. Uh, all of those places where the shadows would be sitting on her. Okay, now I'm going to blend that color out. What I mean by that is I'm going to go over it with the next lightest color, which is E11. And I'm just going to go over the same color and a little bit further out towards the lighter color. So almost like I'm doing half on, half off the previous color. And I'm just going to keep going over that until I can't see a line anymore so that it just smoothly blends in. I've also added a little line on her chin there, which I'm going to make as a half moon. So that'll be like the uh, highlight from her chin then. I'll be able to fill out that little spot there. Now that I blended that line, um, I'm just going a little bit deeper in because I want the shadows to be a little bit um, larger. So I've just um, gone back over the bits that I wanted to make a little bit deeper. Uh, 
I'm going to come in now with the next lightest color, which is E21, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go half on, half off the previous color, and I'm also going to go further over the rest of the remaining color that was there as well. That just helps to smooth and blend the whole, I mean, the three colors together. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just going over it until I can't see a line so that it's smoothly blended together. You'll notice that the darker colors now are starting to look slightly different. You might get little speckles um, because it's desaturating. The color is just spreading um, further apart. So the color or the ink particles are spreading further apart and getting thinner because you're watering them down with that lighter color. Uh, we will come back in and go over this again, which should give you a more smoother blend. So it would look a lot better the second time you go over it. As you can see now, I'm bringing in that color and creating, um, I guess, a cheekbone. I'm creating a, um, a shape on her chin now, the moon. I'm going underneath her eyes and under her elbow, uh, eyebrow, sorry, um, around her ear. So they're little things that now we can start to uh, begin to shape the face to stop it from looking flat. I'm going to bring in some pink tones now, so some R20. I'm going to use this as blush, um, as eyeshadow, um, and I'm going to put it a little bit into the shadows um, and just around her ear. So this will be a little bit more, I guess, forming that shape and putting a little bit of color into her face as well. And the next color I'm bringing in is E00 and I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm just going to go over the top of the previous colors and bring it a little bit further out into the highlighted areas there. Uh, this is our second last color so it's almost like we'll cover most of the face by the time we finish with this color. I'm also going to use this to put a little bit of shape into her nose as well. So I've just put um, uh, a little, I don't know, it's almost an L shape into her nose there with it as well. And I've shaded some of that area in as well so that her nose has got some shading and depth to it as well. So the final color that I'm bringing in is E000 and I'm going to go over all of those highlighted areas. So I'm going to start just on the edge of the previous color and I'm just going to push it all out towards the shadow areas. And um, it's just exactly the same as with the other colors. You've just got to try and keep blending it until you don't get that line and that the transition seems um, more seamless. So now that we've done that, uh, that was like our practice run, we're going to come back in with our E04 and we're just going to start with those shadow areas again. This is where you would make them a little bit deeper if you wanted them deeper and extend them further because obviously we're not going to do another layer over this. We can, but um, we won't be. So why would you be putting so much um, effort and time into doing um, another layer 
it is because the deeper that we do them, the better the layers look, the nicer the face will look. So there'll be more shape. It will look more contoured. It will look like it's popping out of the page rather than just being a flat picture on the page as well. I just wanted to suggest too that if you don't have Copic markers and you still like to do this with pencil, you can. Um, you may be able to find perhaps a light coloured texture um, for the E000 just to give you at least that base colour um, on the face there. But you can build up these colours with just using the Prisma colours that I'm going to use in a little, you know, a little while. Um, so you just start off at the darkest colour doing the shadow areas again. You wouldn't go as heavy though with them to start with you would build that color up slowly so that you can get more depth into it so I'm just coming back over this one now with E11 and I'm just doing exactly the same as I did in the first layer and I'm going to bring that a little bit further in this time because I want a little bit more depth in the um, shadow areas so I'm just doing that here now I'm now bringing in E21. I'm going to do this layer the same as the previous layers. So just bring in a little bit further in towards the highlight area there and um, just making sure that it's nicely blended. So you find that this time around the blending is heaps easier. Um, you don't need as much effort to go over it and over it like you did in the first um, layer. So this should be a little bit easier for you to do. We're coming back in with E00 and we're just going to keep going over the previous color and bring it further into the highlight. So you'll notice that the highlight area is getting slightly smaller um, as we've gone over this second layer. That's okay. I'm going to blend it all out with the E000 and it should now start to look nice and smooth and you'll have some depth. Great, now we're going to add in our highlight colour which is the E000 and I'm going to add this over the entire face area now.
Now you don't have to um, go over a layer with pencil after you've done this, but I'm just going to show you that you can use them both to get a lot of depth into the face and get it to look more um, realistic, I guess, and more 3D. So I'm just going to add on pencils next. We're going to come in and add some of the pencil now. So we're going to start with henna today and I'm going to just do around the shadow areas with this. So I'm coming over the henna with peach. This is a Prismacolor pencils that I'm using at the moment. Um, so you may like to use different brands, that's up to you. And uh, just uh, try and go with the same color or similar colors to what I'm doing now. Um, so the peach is just going uh, over the top of that now. It is a little bit harder to lay down the pencil color because we are using the Express It blending card. Um, so yeah, it is just really a light layer that's going on top there. And now I'm bringing in the next lightest colour, which is light peach. The light peach I'm just going to put over most of the skin. I am going to bring in another yellow tone so it's not too peach um, coloured or not too pink. Um, so the yellow colour that I will use will be eggshell. And I'm just going to just keep lightly going over the top of the face just to get the uh, blend that I want and to lay down that colour on that smooth paper.
And I'm just coming in with the eggshell now to put those yellow tones in. I'm just going to colour over the most of the highlighted area and go a little bit into the shaded area. And I'm just going back in with peach. Just going back over the yellow tones a little bit there. There's a little bit yellow on the nose, so I've just gone back over the peach, the light peach with that. And I'm going to bring back in the darker peach. Just get a little bit more depth around the nose and the eye. There is quite a dint um, between the eye and the nose there, so that's why I've just put a little bit more there. And just lightening up again with the light peach. And then some more eggshell. So I'm just circling my pencil around. Um, it's quite light. Um, as I said, because the paper is quite smooth, if I pushed hard, I'm going to get indentations in the paper. Um, just putting it on lightly, it's just gradually building up that colour. Doing around the mouth and the chin again. Now I'm going to use uh, markers for the eyes and the lips as well. We're just coming in with the white pencil now. I'm just putting some highlights on the cheeks, um, just on the corner of the eyes, uh, around the mouth in particular. Um, as I said before, the paper is quite smooth, so it's harder to lay down um, the highlight color there. But I'm actually going to use a pencil blender in a minute just to blend that back into the skin a bit more. And just bringing a little bit more light peach in to blend that out a little bit.
And I'm just going to put a little bit more eggshell there just to blend that out a bit. You can see a little bit of a line there where the highlight is. Um, I'll show you how to get rid of that in a moment. Okay, so I have got some Zestit um, blending solution and sponge here. I'm just using a sponge with a blending stick or a blending stub. I'm just going to put the, um, you could just uh, dip it into the fluid, but I didn't really want a lot on my stub, so I just dipped it onto the sponge there. And I'm just going to rub over the areas where I could see that defined line or the white line that was there. Just clean up the pencil off the ink and things like that. So um, it doesn't actually uh, work on the uh, Copic ink, it doesn't touch that at all. It does only touch the pencil part of it. So now we've got our black um, pencil. I have sharpened it so it's really nice and sharp. I'm just going to outline the eyes and the eyelashes with this. Um, this is just going to be bringing all of the skin together. Um, there's no point sort of showing you just the skin when it's not finished. It, um, because it does sometimes look a little bit darker too with none of the rest of the picture done so not having hair uh, done and things like that it, it will change the effect of the face or, or the look of the face once those things are put in as well And I'm just going to do the eyebrow as well with this black pencil. So putting that little bit of detail in, it's already starting to look good. I'm going to start with the lips now. So I'm using um, Copic's R37 for the outline. Um, I will put some colour alternatives uh, on my blog. So I'll put a link to that in the description of the video today as well. Uh, because if you just wanted to go ahead with um, pencil rather than the markers, that's fine too. So I'm just using this to outline the lips and put in the shadow area of the part of the lips as well. And now I'm just going to come in over the top of that with R24. I'm just leaving a small white gap for the highlighted area. And I'm bringing in the next lightest color, which is uh, R02. And I'm just going over the highlighted areas and bringing it back out to the darker area. And I'm going to come back in in a sec with the darker colors again. Okay. 
And now I'm just going to outline again with that R37. And then I'm just going to smooth it out again with the R24. Now I'm just going to use that white gel pen. I'm just going to put a little white fleck on the bottom and the top lip. The bottom lip will be a little bit longer than the top one. And now I'm just going to finish off the eyes. So I'm going to start with bg05 this is just a blue green uh, color this will be the shadow area so um, the eyes are going to look mystical they're not um, uh, realistic in any way but um, they still do look effective as we go along Then I'm going in just a green tone, which is G02, and I'm just uh, blending that out. So I'm going over the top of the BG05 and bringing it further into the middle on both the eyes there. Blends nice and well those two colors together. And then we're going to bring in a yellow green. So to give that middle part of the eye, uh, make that a little bit brighter, I've gone with yellow green. Um, two one just to get that nice uh, I guess bright sparkly kind of eye in the middle there and now I'm just going to uh, put in some color around the whites of the eye I'm just going to put a little bit of R20 in the corners and just putting a little bit on the eyeshadow areas behind the eye lashes there as well and around the front of the eye and I'm just going to add a little bit more color into that because she's going to be greens um, and blues. I'm just putting a little bit of green around the eye uh, as eyeshadow as well. So the top of the eyelid there and also underneath the bottom eyeshadow there. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with the E000. And I'm almost done now. So we're just going to put some highlights in the eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of a, a spot on the middle of the eye there to have a reflection of light there. And also just on the bottom uh, eye lash there, I'm just going to put a little white spot as well just to show a reflection of the, um, I guess, almost like watery eyes. I'll just pop a little dot in there as well. Once those white spots had dried, I just went over it a little bit with um, R20 on the bottom and then obviously in the middle of the eyes there, I just uh, put a little bit more of the YG21 over the top of it just to blend it in a, a little bit. I've also added just some um, E21. I've just gone around the printed ink layer uh, just to blend in that pencil a little bit and to pull off any of the dust that had been on there as well. I will um, just wipe my marker off after this as well to make sure I get that pencil off the nib. So we've um, finished our picture now. Just to let you know that um, you don't have to do what I've done. You can pick different colors. Um, obviously not everybody has Copic so you may use uh, Spectrum Nors or other markers like that. Uh, anything that you do the technique is going to be very similar. Um, if you've got your own style of doing something that's great too so just go ahead and have a try. I'm really just doing these to just show you what I've done and um, give you some ideas of, of what you can do.